Meanwhile, in Uh, meanwhile, I in love Australia, that. such a good job at these. I know, I love that. But <laughs> the last couple of times we talked about Australia, it's for their devastating brush fires, yeah. and so seeing the animals always hurts a little bit. But uh, those fires continue. International and domestic pressure inside of Australia to do something about it is increasing, and uh, now even uh, Greta has weighed in, tweeting recently. Not even catastrophes like these seem to bring any political action. How is this possible? Because we still fail to make the connection between the climate crisis and increased extreme weather events and natural disasters like the Australia fires. That's what has to change now. And so she sent out that message, mm -hmm. implying at least that the, I mean, she's really talking about all governments, that they're not taking this seriously enough. But there was already a lot of pressure on the Prime Minister of Australia saying that he was not doing enough. So he was actually asked about this, and here he is responding to that. Greta Thunberg has tweeted her 3.7 million followers of videos from the Australian fires, criticizing the lack of political action on climate change. What do you think of her comments? Australia and the Australian government will set our policies based on Australia's national interests, on what Australia needs to do. That's where I keep my focus. Um, it's not for me to, to make commentaries on what those outside of Australia think Australia should do. We'll do in Australia what we think is right for Australia. And that has always been my guiding principle. Uh, I'm not here to try and impress people overseas. I'm here to do the right job for Australians and put them first. And that means putting you know, the environment in which we live um, at the top of that agenda along with the economy in which people live at the top of that agenda and make sure we've got responsible plans that balance these issues to ensure that you know people have what they need going into the future and they can be confident about their future and I believe they can. I think they can be very confident. I mean right now, particularly here in Mudgee where you've got the double blow of drought and fires, you talk to people and, and what they talk to you about is their hope and they talk to you about their future. That's what Greta's talking about too, by the way. That's a um, non-answer, like way to uh, make it about like this is a foreign person mm -hmm. who has no business talking about what's going on here than to just actually like acknowledge what they're talking about. Yeah. But I mean. So that's uh, that's Scott Morrison um, not interested in Greta getting involved. And that's probably because look, he's in the middle of this devastating fire. I mean, you saw the lower third at the bottom mm -hmm. saying that 100 buildings had just been destroyed. And so like, I get that he doesn't have a lot of time to deal with Greta when he's hard at work dealing with this. Except. Wait, sorry, no, actually <laughs> uh, he's going to be hard at work when he gets back from his vacation in Hawaii that he's taking while the fires are burning across Australia. So he's taking it very seriously, as seriously as someone can take something while reclining on the beach with a Mai Tai in their hand. Um, and by the way, so uh, what is he going, so it's, it's a disaster, you gotta deal with it. What are you gonna do going forward? Is this going to change your policies? This evidence that climate change is gonna have a very negative impact by making these fires more common and more severe. Well, responding to calls for Australia's large coal industry to be cut in the wake of the bushfires, Morrison said his government would not adhere to quote, reckless climate targets in a Daily Telegraph op-ed. Awesome, okay. Um. So when he says that he's gonna put on the top of the agenda, the environment and the economy, um, he falsely believes that you can't do both in an environmentally sustainable way, and he seems to have made his choice. He's just not answering your questions. Yeah, like he exactly. just feels like he didn't have to. Yeah. Well, thank you, Greta. We do appreciate you weighing yeah. in because it's a really devastating set of fires. Thank you for watching this clip from the Damage Report. For more content from the show and access to TYT Network members only exclusives, go to tyt.com slash Brooke. Wait, no, it's. TYT.com slash John. Go to TYT.com slash John to sign up.